get at the heart of things, one of my concerns with Agenda 21, Sustainable Development, is not so much the specific recommendations or requirements or orders. They are not the problem. The problem is someone ruling over me. And when I think about a, a miniature city, and the different houses of different colors and where they're placed. And I think about the person that is playing this game or has this hobby of moving the, the house from one location to another location and then back and then deciding that one's gonna be blue and one's gonna be red. And it's not that having a red house is wrong. It is the concern that somebody else is making that choice. That's my concern. And if the United Nations decides, and all the people sitting up in the watchtower with the darkened, shaded windows watching everyone else, and, and I can't say that if I had a gazillion dollars and I could control humanity, I'd probably be looking for ways that I could help everyone have a better life. I don't think I would choose to rule them, or however, maybe I would. And so if I was going to look from on top of this big, tall uh, lookout point and say, well, what is the best amount of water for a human being, an adult male, for example, to drink in a day? And I might look at the research and say, eight ounces uh, per glass, each person should have six glasses a day. That's the right amount of water for optimal human health. If I then put out billboards saying, hey, drink this much water. What is that, 48 ounces? My math isn't great. Uh, if I say drink 48 ounces of water and it'll make you live longer, my name is Shepard and I made a bunch of money and therefore I'm smart or my family has a lot of money and we want to help. We've talked to the best doctors. Drink 48 uh, ounces and you're going to live a happier, healthier life. If that is my message, great. Good for me. Everyone gets to choose whether or not they do this. If, on the other hand, I say you must drink 48 ounces of water, well, nobody's going to listen to me, right? So what move could I then make if it was really important to me that everybody drinks 48 ounces of water? I could go to governments. They kind of have a monopoly on the legitimate use of force. So I could go to the governments and I could say, hey, government, Please make everybody in your jurisdiction drink 48 ounces of water every day. And the government would say, well, why are we going to do this? How do we make money doing this? And how do we get more power? How do we get more control? And I, I mean, legitimately, uh, if you don't think that's how governments look at things or how politicians look at things, then the rest of this video probably isn't for you. There's probably a uh, an old rerun of some dumb TV show you probably enjoy better. Um, but the government is going to say, well, what's in it for us? Why would we do this? So then, rich guy who wants to make the world a better place, I then have to come up with something to tell the government how it's going to benefit the politicians and all the bureaucrats and such, how it's going to benefit them to do what it is that I want. And, and I don't think most of these politicians are, you know, at heart, bad, evil, mean people that want bad. They just want good stuff for themselves and uh, they're not going to do anything unless they're going to get that. So then I have to come up with a, a, a way of, of giving the government some money or power. And if I do that, if I'm successful and I sit down with the governments and we all come up with good plans, then before you know it, you just might be forced to drink 48 ounces of water every single day. Now, that's probably better for you. That's that's probably good for your health. I'm not arguing about whether or not 48 ounces of water is a good thing. I'm not arguing about whether or not I think it's really cool to have a nice wide bike path that goes parallel to all the vehicle roads. But it might be nice. It, it might be cool. It might, hey, it might be better for our health to get out and bicycle more. It's might relax us, might make us live longer. It might be a better thing. But I'm not, again, I'm not arguing whether or not 48 ounces of water or a beautiful bike path or getting more exercise is good or bad. My argument is 
you shouldn't be able to tell me what to do. I shouldn't be able to tell you what to do. Even if either of us think that we know better than the other, we shouldn't be able to force it upon each other. And there are ways of forcing things, and this is what frustrates me. There are ways of forcing things that don't look like they're forced. There are ways of doing things that look like, what, well, you know, the United Nations, when they came out with Agenda 21, it's not a mandate. It's just a recommendation. It's a course of action. It's a program that we, we encourage member governments to do, and we'll give benefits if they do, and, and we'll provide lots of funding and get some connections going so there's lots of money flowing and we'll you know we'll help out with all of this it's just wrong it's just wrong again i'm okay with suggestions but i'm not okay with manipulation i'm not okay with you getting your helmet and spandex crowd to go to these trainings and learn how to be manipulative, learn how to manipulate politicians and the useful idiots in the neighborhood. And, and I know that you, the spandex and helmet crowd that, that buy into all of this and are out there fighting for bicycle advocacy and we must do this and we deserve to have right-sized roads, which of course right-sized is, according to me, big, powerful, rich guy or group of friends, according to us, the right size road has a couple lanes for vehicles, big, beautiful center area for uh, vegetation, landscaping, etc., and then some nice wide areas for bicycles. Because bicycles are good, cars are evil, kind of the two legs bad, four legs good uh, kind of thing. Bicycles good, cars bad especially cars that are fueled by gasoline. Uh, those are really, really bad. Or diesel. Ugh. I'm rambling a bit here, but you see where my problem is? I'm not saying that it's better to travel in a diesel engine vehicle or to drink 30, glasses, uh, 30 ounces of water instead of 48. I'm not talking about what's better. I'm talking about you trying to control me and manipulate me through government through whether it's a government uh, tax benefit or an actual outright law that you're going to put me in jail over. Please don't treat me like I'm a pawn on a chessboard. I'm more than that. I'm a human being. I want to make choices. And some of those choices are going to be wonderful. And some are going to be horrible. I'm going to fall flat on my face. I'm going to get hurt sometimes. And sometimes I'm going to have big wins and I'm going to feel happy about it. I don't want you to tell me the type of neighborhood to live in, whether or not it should be near a transportation corridor, or whether it should be out in the suburbs. Sprawl is beautiful. What if I think that? What if I want to live out in the suburbs 40 miles from my work? What if I want that? What if neighbors of mine want that? Who are you to say that I shouldn't? You are no one. You really aren't. Don't try to don't try to control my neighbors and friends. It ain't right. This is Shepard. Whether you like what I have to say, dislike it, agree or disagree, if you want to think a little bit, I enjoy thinking also. Please subscribe right now, Larish, and I'll look forward to chatting with you again and reading your comments and stuff.